Welcome to the Elbow Show. Nah, we got the gist of it. Now, choose your preference. They'll change the names in game accordingly. All right, like Asha, Yara. I prefer. We're gonna go with the books. Uh, this is great. Static wars. So the factions will be locked in diplomacy according to the War of the Five Kings, right? North and the Vale together. So they're not locked in diplomacy, but they kind of start there. So I'm going to go with that. All right. Uh, let's make our character. What kind of person are we going to be? Uh, we essentially choose where we're from, our uh, grouping. Now I know what kind of character I want to play. I'm going to hang out in the arbor. That's a little island off the southwest. Make good wine. It's part of the reach. So I'm going to be a reach person. Uh, father. All these professions. Outlaw, retainer, merchant. We're going to go with retainer. It's going to give us some uh, combat experience. Our father proved his battle prowess on many occasions. He was highly regarded by his lord. Oh yeah, very nice. Uh, I can be a noble in court, blacksmith, apprentice, urchin, nomad, slave, mummer, uh, acolyte. I'm going to go with retainer's apprentice. And our vocation is retainer. I mean, this is the way it was. All right. You, this is your father's job. As a child, you learn it, and then you become it, and that that's all you do. And the religion, uh, faith of the seven, that's the reach so we got R'hllor, Old Gods, the Drowned God, and Faith of the Seven. We're going to go with the Seven. And my trait. Uh, yeah. I'm a Savage Warrior now. We're going to go with that. Alright. Let's continue. Uh, allow me to quit without saving, just in case shit goes haywire. Uh, we're going to enter our name. Oh, what are Bastards of the Reach called? North is snow, south is sand, east is stone, there's rivers. Uh, yeah, there's hill, Hugo Hill. Uh, the Reach would be... Oh, wow. Flowers? Maybe. We'll just assume that uh, I'm from the Reach, but I'm, I'm a bastard from the Western Lands. All right, we're going to start with our attributes. We've got four points to put in. Uh, we can take a couple with intelligence, and uh, one for charisma, and one for agility. Okay, so agility is weapon master, spotting athletics path, finding riding and looting, and strength is bow power. Now I'm an archer in this game, at least by preference. So we get one with power bow. Uh, we got five points left. We're going to need riding and horse archery. Eventually. Uh, does this go up and down a little bit? Okay. Ooh, we're gonna go with more bow points. Inventory management sounds nice. Plus six slots to go around trading, making stuff. But we're gonna get some leadership. And we're gonna need a bit of trade. All right. There's a couple other stuff I'd like to have. Sailing master, navigation. Yeah, this game. Oh, I'm excited now. It's expanding. I'm an archer. Let's get some bow points in there. Throwing's pretty good. I got a good throwing arm. But we need archery points bad. Okay. There I am. I'm not really sure. I had a distance. Eyelids. You can really mess up this guy's face if you'd like. But I'm happy. Alright, it's the early hours of the morning when you reach King's Landing. A burstling city. Bustling? 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 That's a silent T, I guess. 
A bustling city on the eastern coast of Westeros in the Crownlands. You make your way here after hearing news of King Robert Baratheon. The climate is warm and the atmosphere is relaxed. Other than the solemn silence around the capital, because King Robert Baratheon's dead, everything seems like a normal day. You roam down the streets of Sisters and Ivasenia's Hill and the great Sept of Baelor in the distance. Standing still for a moment in awe of such beauty, you feel the warm, quiet wind lightly whisk past your ears. It's certainly a far cry from the road you traveled to get here. A soft night and calm atmosphere soon passes when you hear screams and the clash of swords, people shouting, others yelling in pain. You have no idea what's going on, but you decide to take a closer look because you're ballsy like that. And so we begin our Game of Thrones adventure. There's Elbow Hill, a bastard. A house Stark guard. What's up, bro? Those bastards are attacking anyone associated with House Stark. You must help us fight. Uh, all right. Bust out the sword and shield. Those bastards. Which bastards? Oh, there they are. This shit ready. Oh, a lion. Lion, a Lannister. Very bastards. guys oh, oh I didn't have my sword out no I was going out with the shielded fist you fall to the ground unable to move as you slowly lose consciousness you can still hear the slaughter around you the laughter of Lannister men as they slay the soldiers of the north and the heart-wrenching screams of women and children being put to slaughter I eventually awake to the sound of voices and wonder where I am yeah. What the fuck's going on? Stark Levy. We're lucky we found you when we did. We must make our way to Winterfell and warn Rob Stark. There's nothing else we could do here. <gasps> Ned's been betrayed. Lord Edgar. You're alive. You were one of the lucky ones. Not many others alive can tell you that much. A bloodbath, it seems our Lord Ned Stark has been taken prisoner. You must go and warn Lord Rob Stark. These two soldiers are loyal to Ned and will accompany you to Winterfell. Yes, okay. I'll go I'll go warn young Rob. I must make haste and follow the King's Road north. Alright. You guys ready to go, Levis? Time to head out. Ah And here we are in King's Landing. Now I'm going to start over here, let's get this in, the arbor, that's going to be my uh, chosen home, this little island. Uh, this is the whole map, is there a better angle I can get to? No, it's a foggy day, but over here we got Dorne, right, uh, the step stones, free cities, only goes to Volantis, so Slaver's Bay, which would be over here, is uh, off map, but still we got all the free cities. Valentos, Kohor, Novos, Lorath, there it is, Bravos, and look at that, they even got the fucking Colossus up there, oh that's great, that's great, we can, you know, be like Arya, run away to the free cities, go train over there, I'm sure they're gonna have all sorts of nice references in this, alright, Storm's End, uh, I'm right here, uh, of course, there's a uh, pike, uh, Lannister's place over here, uh, Riverlands, where uh, Catelyn, Tully, and so from such are from. Twins being represented. Uh, Moat Kaelin, yep. Yeah. And then you'll have uh, Winterfell up here. Uh, then you got all this good stuff up here. Followed by Wall. There it is. Castle Black and the Wall. Now uh, they don't have all the castles, just I think the three main ones. Yeah. And then there's even a uh, Wildling Lands. Is uh, the Fens up here? Yeah, Fens are up here. That's great. So at some point there will be a Wildling or a uh, White Invasion. White Walkers are gonna storm down. 
I don't know all the details. But at some point that might happen. But yeah, here's the whole uh, world here. God's Eye where the children of the forest hang out. Now our mission is to go up north and warn. So it's a simple matter of going to find Winterfell where we're heading. We're going to click the walk button. And uh, it's going to take us all the way back to where we're leaving from. And there's the three of us. Lannister men, they're, oh, they're following us. All those foot soldiers are trying to fuck us up. Uh, did we do it? Alright, alright, we'll start this off with a little battle. With the name King Joffrey, state your business. Don't try to fool us, we saw you sneak out of the gates. Well then. Yes, I will avenge those slain and pay you with your blood, Lannister. In order to take you back to King's Landing. Well, uh, my relation with the Westerlands has dropped. They were at minus 10, now they're at minus 20. It seems I've uh, chosen my initial sides. Alright, I got three troops versus their two. There is no plan. Um, yeah. Let's, let's have it. Leave my troops. Okay, I can use my numbers um, to order my divisions. That's right. So I can say here. Hold this position, or I'm actually going to tell him to follow me. Where are these Lannister bastards? There they are. Alright, let's go get them. Get a little bit of a run going. Is that them there? No, maybe not. Somewhere out here. Alright, I got an idea of how this works. F3, uh, fire at will. F1, F3, charge. Alright. I'll still give him commands as we go. Follow me. Going too far ahead. Let's hold this position. I'm gonna draw one of them off. No, oh, they're breaking up. One of them's gonna go warn the queen. Get in there. Fuck him up. Oh, ho, ho. Yeah, get him from behind. That's right. Yeah, fuck these guys. Got him. Yeah. Start. Okay. Perfect. Everyone's happy. We clean this up nice and neat. Um. Okay. Everyone's injured. We're gonna capture one of them. Boom. Prisoner. There we go. I'm gonna order my troops to bury the dead. Leave the dead to rot. Leave quickly. You know what? Fuck it. We'll just leave that one body there and we'll take that one prisoner. We are still in uh, Lannister Lands, so Derry could put out an army of this and farm this here. I'm not gonna fuck with it. Even though it's six peasant three women, it's just the three of us and one prisoner. So, we'll just keep moving up the King's Road. Ooh, bandits. They could have caused us some trouble. Alright, we are near to an enemy realm. We're gonna leave those bandits to harass those Lannisters. Yeah, but take a look at the big map. Lannister forces. I'll just give it a quick pause here. Westerlands, they're listed as. They stretch. This is a uh, Stannis, I believe. And this would be Renly. Stormlands. Although Renly is allied with Highgard and Marjorie. So, uh, Westerland's influence is a band across the whole thing. They're starting over here. They're currently at war with Riverrun. That's what kind of helped kick off all this thing. 
and there's this land over here. So for me to actually get to where I want to go eventually, the arbor, and set up port there, I'm going to need uh, to cross back across Westerlands. In the meantime, we'll just keep our little merry way on. Troops would be happier if they had some entertainment. They're complaining about being bored on the long ride up north. I can't blame them. Weekly budget. I had to pay these guys a bit. Sure. And yet we walk on. Ooh. I hope uh, Winterfell pays me for delivering this message and I can buy a horse. That'd be really nice. In the meantime, we're just going to chill. Alright, well I made a mistake. Um, some bandits tended to ambush me and they look well armored and armed. I can pay for free passage. He only wants 20 bucks. Very well, I'm paying this guy off. I don't know how many bandits it was. I alt tabbed out to do an audio test and here I was, 20. Yeah, great job. Paid off the bandits with 20 bucks instead of fighting 20 of them. So that would have been death. I'm only at Mount Kaelin. Okay, I'm not at Winterfell yet. But that is the crossing border essentially into the north. Whew. Okay, so where the river and this mountain comes up. Oh, Northern Archer. We are free butters. Give us our gold or taste our steel. Come on, guys. The north is just full of the horse shit. Yeah, join my party. Oh, they want a thousand bucks. No, they're gonna sell us to slavers, broken men. Ready to fight against their ten. Uh if I surrender is gonna take me I'm gonna pull back, leaving some troops to cover our retreat. Alright, I left one soldier behind. I got some good tactic skill anyways. Okay. Alright, I'm leaving one of the levees to guard. We gotta get this message to Winterfell. Can't allow these bandits. Oh, they took the Stark footman prisoner. Oh, they're gonna get it. I'm gonna tell Rob Bonham. Rob's gonna bring hell and high fury down on these fucking bandits. Maybe I'll come back here. Do a little bandit sweep and I got with myself a little bit tougher. Ah, caravan. Wolf pack. Jesus. These fucking wild bulls rolling out here. Oh, great. I've arrived in Winterfell. With only one of the levees I was set with. I had to pay off bandits and one got taken captive. Okay. Uh, Town of Winterfell seems unremarkable. The occasional grumble about the price of the items, but there's a reasonable amount of goods here. Alright, I'm greeted by men loyal to Rob Stark. Um, there's competitions going on, that's interesting. I'll have to see that later. I need to go speak to the Lord. Lord Rob. Oh, you got a room full of people. There's a guard, old gods worshipper. Start. Roger Cassell! Oh! Hi, Master of Arms. Yeah, I know you. Uh, you train troops specific to House Stark? Only the Lord of the City can request training of troops. Oh, at least you told me what you do. Who's up here? Kingdom Bard. Maester Lewin! Ah, Theon Greyjoy's in the house. There's Rob Stark. And a small John Umber! Oh, you got an Umber? I love Umbers. They're one of my favorites. Hi. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, you don't know me. Okay. Yes, you are Rob Stark. Peace to me. Always remember your, to temper your valor with mercy, your courage with honor. Is that an intro? Uh, I have urgent news that needs your attention. Your grace. I've traveled from King's Landing with two of your loyal soldiers. Unfortunately, one was taken uh, hostage by bandits just to the south of you. Uh, I'm here to tell you that your Lord Father, Edder Stark, has also been taken into Lannister custody for reasons of... Uh, they trumped up charges. Thank you for your loyalty in these desperate times, Albo Hill. 
Though the news has already reached us, I hope you'll join us when we march south on King's Landing. We'll see if Lord Tywin really does shit gold. Ha ha ha. Alright. If I'm to go to war in the south, I've got a small problem he's taken care of, of which I ask your help. It's a small problem. Keep in mind, I'm just one guy, and maybe your friend. But yeah, what do you need to be done? Some wildling scum have managed to sneak past the wall. My scouts report they've attacked a small farmstead just north of here. I need them dealt with quickly before they're able to wreak more havoc among my peasants. My bannermen need to prepare for our march south, so I'm counting on you. Alright. You want me to go mess up some wildlings that are attacking farmers? I totally get that. Uh, it may also be wise for you to ride with a bodyguard or two. Yes, I would agree. Hi, Theon. Of course you're busy. Um, ooh, you were in Valerian Steel. The learning of magic. Do you believe magic still exists, Mr. Lewin? Oh, of course not. It was once a mighty force, but not any longer. What little remains is no more than a wisp of smoke that lingers in the air after great fire is burnt out, and even that is fading away. You are long-winded. Alright. Hello, who do we got over here? Old Dad! Yay! Let's hear a story from Old Dad. Beyond the wall, the monsters live. The giants and the ghouls. The stalking shadows and the dead that walk. But they cannot pass so long as the wall stands strong and the men of the night's watch are true. You got more for me? Nope. Alright. Oh! Hodor! Hodor. Are you okay? Hodor. Oh, uh, it's nice to be around this place here. All right, let's go to the t to the town. We are leaving Winterfell's castle. We are in a courtyard esque child. It just says a couple kids running about. It's a nice sunny day in the north. Armor. Hey. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go need to uh, visit the Micken. Ah, uh, Micken. He made lots of good stuff. Show me your wares. I need a bow. Trade screen. I got. Oh, I got a stack of bread. 161 silver. Uh, I better look at the bottom of his list here. I can't even get a bent hunting bow. I'm gonna have to grab one off a of body. Uh, chip sword, old shield, I got nothing. I got nothing. Hey, what's the rumors? No, oh, nothing new? Okay. Goodbye. Uh, there's the gallows, where the chopping block is placed. I know it looks like you hang people there, but I assure you they chop their heads off in the north. They don't fucking hang them. Oh, the horseman. You got a good shitty horse for me? Hey, Harwin. I got like a hundred bucks for you. Oh, I won't find better beasts? Damn, yeah, that's what I thought. Even the scabby donkey, 600. <laughs> I can't even get the scabby donkey? Alright. I need to go make some money. Uh, maybe I'll visit the smoking log inn. Let's see if anyone here has some stuff for me. Tavern keeper, peasant, archer. Yeah, you and seven others are looking for a master. Ooh, that's a. I can hire one of you, but maybe I don't need to. I was hoping I'd find an old friend here. Tom of Seven Strings. Yeah, you're one of the. Brotherhood of the. songs for everyone. That's fine. I don't think you're going to join me. Well, anyways, do you know of any ongoing feasts? Ah, uh, this is where the competitions and whatnot happen. Okay. Uh, maybe there is competition going on here? Or is that already over? Join the competitions. Maybe I can earn a buck. I'm a tier one of the tournament, 64 participants. The next round there'll be three teams with five fighters each. All right, okay. 
bunch of sore swords, veterans, squires, freelancers. Uh, I get to put a bet on someone. That sounds nice. No, I can place a bet on myself. Okay. Well, I'm not going to do that, but I will fight the next round. Here we go. Got a couple cell swords with us. Nice. Oh, three on me? The fuck? <laughs> Sworn sword just came and clobbered him. I've been eliminated from the tournament. Sworn sword wins the list in the glory. Maybe that was the one to knock me up. Yeah, but just subdued one. That was way too quick. I thought I might get to tier two, but damn, my character's pretty weak right now.